we are almost there you guys i have a couple more videos left of curriculum pics before i get to um a day in the life of my kids using their curriculum so um today we are going to be talking about read alouds uh, this time around, I thought this was necessary because last year I didn't really lay out my read alouds um, very well and I only got through probably maybe five, which I don't love to say, but it's the truth. Um, and I think I underestimated the power that's in read aloud time and I don't want to do that this time around so I set a pretty aggressive plan um, for myself because I saw how well the read aloud time was actually working. I think when you're moving along in everyday life you kind of don't really recognize how good certain things can be in your everyday homeschool routine and I think that's what I did. I kind of underestimated read aloud time in homeschool last year. So I don't want to do that this year and so I'm really excited about my little read aloud plan and I mapped out a bunch of the books that I wanted to read with my kids this year um, and I'm excited about exploring the stories with them so I'm just going to show you what I have planned and it's a lot so it's a lot of books <laughs> in general how I have it laid out on my goals list for my reading time is the kids goals is two books a day so they just have to um, any kind of book they want to read each day that is their target goal for them and they'll receive points for them that maybe I'll show you how we do our point system a little bit later which our point system is a major portion of our math too that I never even mentioned but maybe I'll tell you <laughs> I'll tell you guys later other than the kids goal uh, we will just try to cram in as much read aloud time as possible. I'm thinking during breakfast time and maybe a little bit before dinner, but I really enjoyed it and I feel like it helped me to slow down and just actually get in some extra quality time with the kids. So I just want to do more of it. So first let me talk about two of the apps that I have to go along with our read alouds. Um, I don't know if anybody has ever used this app before, but I found it while I was browsing through Pinterest and because I had a little free space um, after um, canceling my other subscriptions that we used last year, um, I thought I would give it a try. I think it's about three or four dollars a month and I think they have a homeschool plan. I, I have to go back and double check. Um, I did contact them to see if they had any a thing really special for us homeschoolers and they kind of didn't i was a little bit disappointed by that because i believe that the program is free to educators um so i i emailed them and i'm like hey we're totally educators and she definitely sent me to a space for specific you know especially for homeschoolers but it wasn't that much of a discount so i was a little bit disappointed in that but i'm still going to give it a try because i think it might be a good fit for us and the reason why i wanted to use it is because we go to the library all the time and we pick out new books to include in our little library bin for them to be able to read new books all the time however when i am having not the best time going over to get new books i found that there was a lot of spaces where they i wanted them to go and have some alone time reading and they didn't have any new books to read because i didn't go get them any <laughs> so um i didn't want that to limit them from exploring new books and different stories and things like that so i thought that get epic would really um help out in that area so i'm going to try it out and see how it goes you can take the books um that you find and include them into little folders um, as suggested reading for your kids they each can have a profile so far so I set up a profile for them I like that they have some selections that are read to me so for Savannah um, I, she can still go ahead and pick a book and that book will read it to her if I'm not available to read it to her so I felt like that was like really a gap there that could be filled and then also they had a section on Spanish books so you guys know that Kendall's really he's really really into languages and i'm just not there yet to be able to figure out how to um you know get him there in that area so um it's really cool because they have a pretty decent selection of spanish children's books where they read to him so i thought that was really neat that that he'd be able to hear 
um, the language by them reading the Spanish children's book to him. So I thought that would be another area where it would kind of fill in that gap. So I'm excited about trying it out. I did explore and look a little bit through some of the selections and it does look like a decent selection. You can't find every book you're looking for there, but I thought it would be a nice way to fill in the gap. So I'm gonna give that a try. If any of you have ever used it or tried it, I would love to know how you like it and how it worked out, but I, I really think that it may be a good fit for us. So I'll try it out for a couple months and see how it goes um, and we'll go from there. So after Get Epic, the only other thing I have is an app that I, I've, I've had for a while now and I'm just gonna continue to use, and that's the abcmouse.com, um, the free books, the free app books that they have. I'm gonna continue to use those with Savannah because they were great with the boys and I think they'll be really helpful for her and they were free, so I'm gonna continue to use those. But now I'm just gonna go through the books that we've selected for read alouds this year. It's a hefty, this is only half of them guys. It's only half of them, but I'm excited. I have A Wrinkle in Time, The One and Only Ivan, The Borrowers, Wonder, The Secret Zoo, The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane. I got the complete collection edition of Oz. I'm excited about that. <laughs> My Father's Dragon, Bud, Not Buddy, Ronald Dahl's Matilda, Flora and Ulysses, The Phantom Tollbooth, Fish in a Tree, Stuart Little, James and the Giant Peach. And you guys, I, when, <laughs> I'm so extra. When I am looking for a book to reserve at the library, I totally select the one with the cover that I want the most. Sometimes they have to come from other libraries but it's like my guilty pleasure. I just I just really enjoy reading the one with the cover that I like the most, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so the last one I have is Peter Pan. I'm so extra, look at this Peter Pan one. <laughs> this is actually the Centennial Edition, and it's really not, the story is really not this big, you guys, okay? This was just for me. Uh, um, I mean, it's for them, I'm gonna read it to them, but I got this particular edition because you know it's for me <laughs> and what it does is it just basically um lays out the story and let's see if i can show you and it has notes from the author and then it has little sections on the sides of the stories um that tell what the author was thinking while he was writing the story so it's only big because of all of the extras it's only big because of all of the extras that they included in the story so it only it actually starts let's see yeah see <laughs> it starts halfway through the rest of it is just for the storyteller in me so it'll be cool that while i'm reading it to them i can go ahead and just read about the author's thoughts and things like that so that's why I wanted this edition. So that is Peter, can you see it? Peter Pan. Um, and that's it, you guys. It's a pretty hefty book list, but we're gonna make our way through it. You just wanna come out here for a minute? Okay, girl. <laughs>